All right, what is up, everybody? Uh, this is obviously Josh, aka Dad, from uh, All Hearts Adventures. And lately, throughout the winter, um, the uh, team squad unit of All Hearts Adventures has uh, it's, it's dwindled. You know, um, I mean, as you can see right now, it is. Uh, I can spin the camera. And you can see it's no CEO, mom, mom of hearts, uh, no Axe, AKA Jax. Uh, so we're not some hearts adventures. I, I don't even have my pistol basherman with me. Uh, this is 100% uh, uh, not good by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but nevertheless, the adventures, they go on. Um, so with that being said, this, uh, we are going out to Western Maryland, um, Southeast, uh, excuse me, Southwest of uh, Cumberland, Maryland. Uh, Kitzner, I think is the town or just outside if you're looking for a pinpoint. Regardless, uh, Wolfden Run State Park. Um, we've been out there before, Jax and I, um, I think it was like right at the beginning of the year that totally could be a lie uh, but we went out there for a day trip um, we have a video on that and it was fun we did the Huckleberry Trail had a good time it was just um, Steve um, from the Moore group and then another guy uh, Sam with his Gladiator Diesel I'm pretty sure we put a video about that but uh, Maryland uh, opened up its own state park um, and it's off-road and it has off-road trails on it so designated off-road trails um and and the huckleberry was it was okay there's a couple sections that you know were worth spotting but obviously an opportunity to get out and just um go exploring uh and and definitely towards a legitimate state-run park so trails are being taken care of and of course they have provisions and stuff uh one of the catches though is it, it does you gotta pay uh to access it i think it's like 10 bucks uh for the day don't quote me on that, uh, per passenger, not vehicle, um, which gets you into three separate sections of Wolfden Run State Park. You can buy the passport, the annual passport, which I believe is 75 bucks for a Maryland resident. I do not know what it is if you're outside of Maryland or if you can even obtain one. Um, but for 75 bucks to access the state parks in the state of Maryland, it's not, it's not bad. Um, however, um, we're going out there, we're actually gonna camp. Um, this is a prelude to this uh, weekend, this coming Saturday, um, linking up with the off-road group that I uh, assist with co-running um, more, which is Maryland Off-Road Enthusiasts. Um, I'm with uh, one of the um, more Misfits, uh, or one section of the more Misfits, uh, like we like to call ourselves, uh, Lucas and Rod, or as we call them, Chief and Hollywood. Um, unfortunately, our numbers are dwindled, but Jack's not coming. And then uh, one of our other um, comrades in arms, a um, little bit of, a, a, of an issue, so he's got to set this one out. But, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy it in his stead for sure. Um, to Camping, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So the way it's going to run is we're going to get up to camp this evening. Camp, I, I may have made some shepherd's pie, may have made, slash mama hearts made. All good, we're going to throw that on the campfire after we get camp set up kind of hang out um get up tomorrow do some recon on the trails uh they've had quite a bit of snow up here so uh, we're definitely going to run the trails x out the hard areas um i shouldn't say hard but the ones that are going to cause some issues if necessary navigate the routes check on the conditions um because come saturday we're going to have all of more come out or the ones that are attending and we're going to run some trails with them and in regards to doing that, uh, I'm very methodical, very thorough in making sure that, you know, people have what they need. They come out, their rigs are capable. Um, we have plenty of medical and recovery response gear. Should we run into any issues, which we always hope that we don't. Um, but again, just sharing those types of things up. So recon tomorrow, camp tomorrow night, and then everybody's gonna come out on Saturday, which we should have beautiful weather. So all in all, um, I always look for these opportunities with the family or without to break away from the grind. Um, got a couple things coming up um, that are gonna kinda 
change the way we operate, but bar none, um, up until that point, uh, All Hearts Adventures is gonna go on several camp trips. We already got one planned going uh, down into Florida to do some paddle boarding uh, with the manatees, uh, Crystal, Crystal River, um, and then work our way up through Alabama, Tennessee, uh, sort of like we did last year. Really looking forward to that trip. It's gonna be about a week long. And then a couple one more in the works uh, prior to the summer. But this has obviously gone on long enough. Sucks that I'm solo. It is what it is, like I said. I'm in it for the adventure just as much as I wanna share it with the family and friends. Um, but I got some good company behind me. I know we're gonna do it right, we always do. Um, and uh, just glad that we can share some reviews and show you what it is that we do and how we enjoy ourselves and hopefully uh, you can reflect on it, tweak your your camp uh, setups or you know, you know the way that you adventure a little bit. So as always, more to come. swing by Stitch's place yesterday and uh, pick up the provisions that he left. Um, I got to tell you, if you're not privy to it, uh, he hasn't shared it. He, he got us some pretty good swag. Um, so I, I definitely feel like in, in, in his stead over the weekend, we should uh, do a little video uh, and possibly uh, take the uh, stickers that he got us and do a little branding. What do you think? Oh, hell yeah, we're down yeah, they're pretty sweet. Um, I'm, I'm quite excited to uh, find a, a hard location on Charlie and uh, and take that sticker and put it on the vehicle for sure. Absolutely. All right. Chief made the command decision that we're not staying at our designated campsite and that he would rather stay in the upper echelon area of the campsite. So we are navigating the, <laughs> the campsite. And if anything happens, it's totally his fault. And he's, he's taken ownership of it. Right, Chief? Okay, uh, good morning. Um, it is shooting about uh, eight o'clock. We um, um, decided to kind of sneak up into the wood line uh, due to the wind and the rain last night and get uh, our setup going uh, towards the back of camp uh, versus the fields. And as you can see behind me, um, these are the open sites at Wolf Den Run State Park, um, which there's no cover at all. It's legitimately just an open field. I'll turn it around. That's a site right there. Uh, and actually, it, it's got a bit of a slope, so you're going to be off camber a little bit. I, I mean, if you're going to come out here and stay, I would definitely bring um, quite a few leveling blocks. Um, but each, each guy's a really, really nice uh, fire pit. Um, they really did that right. Um, got them up off the ground. Um, nice, good steel fire ring, and, and a, uh, of course included a uh, a nice cooking grate, so you can push some of your coals over once you get them going, um, and then cook and enjoy the fire at the same time. But again, as you can see, that's 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 dropping a good 15, 20 feet straight down. Um, so it. it you can definitely get leveled out, um, but 
you can be playing around with a little bit. Also, slight concern um, with runoff uh, if it is raining. Of course, you know, when you're coming out here to camp, you're coming out here to take on the elements. So just a little bit of consideration there. But obviously, it's huge uh, to, to accommodate um, um, good-sized groups and stuff. <clears throat> so, but again, um, really, really like the opportunity that these back sites are, are graveled out. And uh, we got camp set up pretty cool. Decided to turn uh, um, Casita, the, the flyer, my little adventure trailer around, open it off the back. Um, and then we kind of enjoyed the fire, but stayed inside uh, most of the night. Wind started to pick up and then the, the rain came back on. But uh, but over and all, uh, wake, woken up to a, a beautiful morning. And that sun, if you can see it, is just amazing. So... I'll go over here and check out on the boys. Um, Chief and Hollywood are getting some breakfast prepped and some coffee going. So I'll just give a quick uh, walk over here. Check this out. How are we doing this morning? Doing great. Yeah? Oh, what what uh, what do we have on tap for breakfast? Grits, eggs, and some sort of meat. Some bacon? Mama K got some bacon? Yeah, I grabbed it. Awesome. So, get the fire going. And I think it'll be a little bit better. Shot of camp. Well, we decided to open up both the tents. Dude, that's a good amount of ice off the back of uh, oh, yeah, the no. tent up there. Not nearly a uh, flagpole knob status, but. Just a, just a bit. And of course you can see uh, where we opened up Casita and then the Tapui opens up really nice off the back with the annex and tightens everything up. Slept really warm last night. But yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast and some coffee and then uh, look to get on the trails and hit uh, Potomac River Trail at Wolf Den Run State Park today. So more to come. That for a workout first thing this morning. That's a big piece. Come on. It's, you're getting it though. Now it's like a determination thing, you know what I'm saying? You're not showing Axe how it's done, are you? I'm trying to. <laughs> Come on. There it is. We're trying that. Look at this breakfast. Chief's got the eggs going on. Sausage and bacon. And then we used the remnants of Mama K's shepherd's pie. And we mixed our grits in with it. And we've been turning it. This is going to be amazing. That's it's the whole, stuff dreams are made of. That's a whole new recipe right there. It's <laughs> a whole new recipe. Like I said, it's going to get all the way down to your, your CV joints and your chassis. <laughs> it's going to get in my belly. All right. Um, we kind of got in trouble from the campsite that we were in. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, um, that were underdeveloped. Um, so they came up to us today and told us that we had to move, which was a bit of a bummer, and we kind of expected that. But those campsites were a lot better than what we are in now, which is kind of like the backside of a field. Um, these are a little bit more underdeveloped than where we were back there, but all good. We made it work. Um, and we're just about to hit the trails, but just before we do, I just want to kind of give you a quick uh, little shot of where we set up here. Man, that thing really does look good all set up. Chief on his phone, as always. Really doesn't contribute much. He just he's really on his phone all the time. He didn't even know what you said. Yeah. Hollywood. Rocking. Miss Nasberry. What is the name of your Jeep? Uh it's like Sienna Pearl. No, like what what's your what's your name? Is her name Pearl? What is her, her name name? Shanay. I'm not kidding, dude. Shanane. This is Shanane. Uh, we'll try to get back enough time to do a good walk around again. Miss you, Mark. Uh, right here where the bathrooms are, we're going to go up 2101, straight up curve around to Big Bend and then we're going to get on 2301 
and take the black all the way to the outskirts and then go on green. So we're gonna basically hit the entire outside perimeter and then work our way back down the, the riverside. On our way down um, to the Potomac River Trail and we had to stop for this view. Look at this. That's the Potomac Russian down there. Absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous day. to winter all right we've been talking about third third time being a charm all weekend so far he's all right chief time you start to spin just go ahead and, and serpentine it all right you say when and i'm gonna go stay up on that passenger side right there as much as you can to stay out of this rut that's good right there not too much because you have to climb the hill and you'll lose power go go come on charlie Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Yeah. Keep going. Yes. It was your shoveling. It was your shoveling. Your shoveling did it. Can you just grab one? Just pinky pinch one leaf. This is actually a, a, a really special trail technique. You put some dry leaves on here. That, I, that's perfect. That's all. That's exactly what's going to happen. Lucas, you better not get stuck. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes! Oh, man. That was rad. Good drive. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Don't stop. Go. Made it look easy. Made it look easy. This is what happens when you get a little excited. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Take an axis job. <laughs> yeah. Actually, doing this if you're here, buddy. A little bit. All right. That's good. Nice. All right. Good. There you go. I'm like last of the Mohicans filming everybody. Getting the opportunity to ride, let Chief uh, drive Charlie, and uh, first impressions. A oh, big thumbs up. Yeah, I, ne I never get to ride shotgun. Lucas got to drive on flagpole, which allowed me to. But I am a spider monkey when it comes to filming, so this is giving me an opportunity to shoot a little a little film here. Oh, look at that snorkel on there. We're trying to get to this overlook, and what just an absolute beautiful day. An absolute beautiful day. Okay, 
Got the hood up, running Gaia, spot and radio. Your experience behind the wheel is just really showing right now. It is. I mean, you know, you just got one hand on the wheel, like I you love just. It, man, this is awesome. <laughs> truck I'm driving sorry. down 95 right now. This I feel is like I'm this just is no store. Woo! <laughs> I just want to take a moment. I'm super impressed with Wolf Den's um, Potomac River Trail. Um, it is very, very nice, very rigorous. Um, we are up, I think, on 2103 on the black. Uh, we just got up past the overlook, and the trails, I mean, are great. Um, and we just got to this little washout portion. A um, couple of good spotting areas for sure, um, but the Jeeps are, the rigs are holding up really nicely. And it is just, I just want to show you the view. It's, it's really pretty up here on a gorgeous day. Cutting in a little little passenger, little passenger, right there. Let it slow, slow, slow. Ooh, Lord. All right, right there. Now keep your wheels exactly the way they are and come straight towards me. Passenger. Keep coming, keep coming, you're good. Driver, 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 driver. Yeah, I know, it's hard, dude. Stop right there, bring it again. Driver. Yeah, let's winch it. it's such a steep hill. God, it just doesn't do it justice. Come on! Get it, buddy! tell you we are um, just coming off uh, one of the blacks from Wolf Den Run uh, and I mean there's plenty of video we have a lot of video oh god it's very tight um, we're back on green making our way back down towards the river we finally made the turn but I mean, uh, touche, the, the, the trails were hardcore. I mean, I winched twice, we had to snatch out. Faster, faster, faster. 
Oh, oh. Uh, it was tough. It, it was it was very a lot of technical driving, a lot of spotting. Um, and it, it's more the ground uh, from all the snow and rain. Um, but the inclines alone, I mean, the, the inclines, you're talking two, three hundred feet at a time in elevation. Uh, 38, 39 degree inclines. Um, but just the slick ground and the slipping. And then you got to put on at least suitcase boulders. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, and, and Charlie, I got 35s on, on the Gladiator and, and the break over angle was, was definitely a bit of an issue for me. Um, but... But I just, hats off, hats off to Wolf Den uh, overall. Um, the, the trails, to me, uh, in my experiences, are, are no joke. And the, they, they need, you need time. Um, we're already fighting the gate, uh, being closed at 4 p.m. We got started at noon, only because we had to move camp. But you need time. And I wouldn't take more than four, four rigs, five tops, just because the amount of time it takes to navigate some of the obstacles. Um, if you weren't, if we weren't faced with time and the gate shutting, I wouldn't be so, so hectic, uh, take a little bit more time. But, but anyway, um, that North, uh, Potomac, North Potomac trail, um, 20, 2301 all the way up North. It's, it's the devil for sure. All right. Okay, um, we uh, got back to camp um, after navigating the trail. Got camp um, going pretty quickly, um, and then Chief has got uh, some chicken fajitas that he's making up um, on the Blackstone for dinner. But uh, we got camp going on pretty quick. We plan on doing like a little um, trail uh, trail review, a little session we're gonna sit around and I think hopefully film um but uh it, it that, that was a that was a hell of a trail today um but definitely you know hats off to charlie the gladiator um that i obviously own um yeah you always got to deal with the uh, breakover center uh departure angles um but the diffs I, i'll say the bigger thing and i understand it so i'm running 35s um and and a lot of the um steep inclines but the boulders just being in the middle some of them are a little bit bigger than uh shoebox uh their briefcase a little bit bigger briefcase large duffel boulders just right you know right in the middle kind of playing around with your drive angles trying to steer clear of the pumpkin the dips and stuff uh but um it, it but it, it did it did its job i did have to winch twice but um everything worked out flawlessly winch worked out perfectly just having all the gear Having good good spotters, good driving, uh, really enjoyed the day. It was very technical. I wish I would have we would would have had more time, but that's that's always the case. We're always fighting that. Um, but just overall, it was it was great. Uh, really enjoyed it. So I'm just gonna do a quick little walk around of camp. That outfit is camp camping approved Un unbelievable outfit just i'm telling you you should market that outfit people would buy that i mean they, they just if you spoke to them they know exactly what they needed to do what they needed to wear how they needed to operate around campgrounds just off that outfit alone yeah so like i said we'll hopefully do a little q a uh from the um the trail that we went on um today um but nevertheless just an awesome day and we got to turn around we got another one tomorrow so